Hello, Neil and G-Man. I needed one more day for your systems, and I wanted to show you why, and I don't think you'll be mad at me. Um, <laughs> I hope not. My heart's in this. So we've got a little application here called Daydream, and the author, Simon Schubig, is an amazing Next developer. So what Daydream does, we I just launched the Daydream app, and you click Go, and then you click OK, and that starts Daydream. Uh, so back in the day, uh, to show how close Next Hardware was to uh, Mac Quadras, Simon was able to create an Apple dongle that plugged into the DSP port on the back of the Next. And now you'll see something familiar coming up. Pretty cool stuff. So in talking to him, I said, well, could you rewrite it without using that Apple dongle? And he thought about it. He said, yeah, I can. So he renamed it Dark Matter. Okay. And so what you'll see come up here is something familiar. There was the Happy Mac. Welcome to Macintosh. And so now you actually have your next cube booting as a Mac. And I know you guys are collectors of the vintage uh, Macintoshes. So now to escape back to next, okay. So yeah, this is fully functional uh, system seven one, and I believe you can install up to seven six on it. So to go back to next, you're going to hit these two keys on the keyboard, alternate, command, and then the star key up here in the corner. I'm going to set the phone down real quick and do that. And you'll see that it immediately boots back to next. So you can actually toggle back and forth fairly efficiently between next and Mac. So this is on that 68040. Good news, Neil, on your 68030, I added four more sticks of RAM. And it now boots up uh, quite a bit faster. So it's got uh, 8 meg. Um, and... It was booting with four, but uh, very slowly. And then, G-Man, on your uh, 680 25 megahertz board, I went ahead and upgraded uh, to 64 using 32 megs of new RAM. So you've got 32 used and 32 new. And one of the sticks was kind of flaky on the original eight. 4 meg sims, so I replaced it with a new one as well. So you've actually got uh, nine sticks. And as you can see, it's going through the boot process again. Uh, Neil, that drive seems to be working now, so it's not uh, it's not stalling to where we need to hit the cable. But if it ever does say SCSI doesn't complete, all it is is you may just need to open the back and then uh, touch that uh, connector right up here. It's the top drive, and just that connector. And for whatever reason, I mean, it's just maybe, I think, just the age of the hardware. And, uh, G-Man, you shouldn't have to worry because the SCSI 2SD just powers right off the SCSI cable. And I'm going to test that as well. Sorry I needed one more day, but I thought you guys would appreciate that. And as I say, we can log back into next here. I also got you a really nice keyboard, Neil, and a nice mouse to kind of complete things. Mouse works good. It's got great action as well. So I can kind of show you some other things we've got out here under local apps. I loaded a bunch of cool software for you. Um, let's see. I know you're, you like graphics. So we've got uh, Virtuoso and uh, I kind of did like Image App. Um, there's Adobe Illustrator, which is pretty cool. And it took a while to install all these. Okay, so yeah, I'll let you kind of cruise through there. I also installed the original web browsers down here. 
and a web server and a bunch of different stuff. So, hey, I really appreciate your business and patience. All these the, uh, under www under local apps. These are all the original, very first web browsers. And so, thank you so much. And I I will absolutely ship tomorrow. I'm going to pack everything tonight.